welcome to the session on High Availability in Azure SQL Managed Instance. But before we go into High Availability, let's do a quick recap on service tiers in Azure SQL Managed Instance. Azure SQL Managed Instance offers two service tiers, General Purpose and Business Critical. The General Purpose service tier is based on remote storage and is best suited for applications with typical performance and IO latency requirements, which is most of the apps. Business Critical service tier is based on collocated compute and storage. It uses blazing fast local SSDs, which deliver maximum performance and lowest possible latency, which is a unique offering in the market, delivering fantastic performance. Uh, business critical service tier is hence best suited for applications with lowest latency requirements and maximum data throughput and IAPS requirements. An additional read-only replica is also included in the price for the business critical service tier. Now let's take a look at the high availability design for the general purpose service tier. First off, let's explain the high-level architecture of the general purpose service tier using the diagram on the right-hand side. At the bottom, we have the storage layer, which is uh, based on Azure Premium page blobs. Essentially, we're using Azure Premium Storage account for data and the log files, and we're using the Azure Standard Storage account for the backup files. Then there's the compute layer in the middle, and in the general purpose service tier, it's based on the single compute VM hosting the primary replica of the managed instance and the set of nodes with spare capacity in the same virtual cluster. So in case this machine needs to go down for whatever reason, it could be a planned event such as rolling out the, the latest updates, or it could be an unplanned event such as how to malfunction, the database instance will be moved to one of the nodes with spare capacity. And there's going to be essentially uh, a small downtime event during this period. And also, uh, there's since this instance does not have the buffer pool and the cache is fully primed, uh, a small performance degradation until the caches are repopulated is possible and likely with general purpose service tiers during failovers. The resiliency and the high availability in the general purpose service tier is provided through the underlying Azure Blob storage Data, data redundancy and high availability features. Essentially, the blob storage guarantees that every record in the log file or every page in the data file will be preserved even if the SQL Server process crashes. This provides a 99.99% SLA guarantee, which is leading amongst all of the cloud providers for SQL Server database services. Now, when it comes to the business critical service tier, you're noticing immediately that the architecture is different since the business critical service tier is based on uh, locally attached SSDs. So as you can see, the local disks of the VMs carry both the data and the log files, uh, uh, unlike the fact that in general purpose, these were placed on remote storage. You're also noticing that we're using an always-on availability group with four replicas for each business critical instance. And one of these replicas is a readable secondary uh, that you, you get free of charge. The high availability in this case is based on auto-managed always-on availability group cluster plus Azure Service Fabric. It also provides four nines of SLAs guaranteed, uh, same, as business, uh, same as general purpose service tier, uh, which is the leading number amongst all of the uh, cloud database providers. Now let's take a look at the SLA guarantees provided by the major uh, cloud database platforms out there in the market. As you can see, uh, AWS RDS provides a 99.5% uptime SLA in the default single AZ or non-zone redundant configuration. And that's improved to 99.95% uptime SLA for the zone redundant or multi-AZ configuration. GCP Cloud SQL also offers 99.95% uptime SLA or up to 22 minutes per month uh, of, of downtime. On the other hand, Azure SQL, even in non-zone redundant configuration, is the only database service out there in the market offering 99.99% of uptime SLA, which is no more than four minutes of downtime per month. And this is the default or non-zone redundant or single AZ configuration. And the market leader today is Azure SQL Business Critical in zone redundant configuration, which offers 99.995% uptime SLA, or no more than two minutes per month of downtime. So four and a half nines of SLA 
makes Azure SQL both non-zone redundant and zone redundant the absolute market leader in terms of resiliency and SLA guarantees. And if you want to learn more, here are a few useful links for Azure SQL Manage Instance and also the details that go into high availability and SLA topics. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great rest of your day.